Different species in a habitat interact with one another in many ways. One way in which species interact is that, well, you know, they eat each other. So let's review the food chain. Every community needs producers. Producers don't have to eat. Instead, they can make organic molecules out of things like air and water through what you already know to be photosynthesis. Plants and other photosynthesizers are at the base of nearly all food chains. Next up, we have primary consumers who eat the producers. You can probably think of many primary consumers, such as deer and wabbits. Then we have secondary consumers. Secondary consumers eat primary consumers. For example, wolves and owls are secondary consumers. In some communities, there may be even higher levels in the food chain. The orca is a good example. In an orca's diet are sharks who eat sea lions, who eat fish, who eat smaller fish, who eat producers, such as photosynthesizing phytoplankton. Besides producers and consumers, ecological communities also need decomposers. Decomposers consume dead organic matter. Hey, what kind of decomposers do you know about already? Bacteria and fungi, right? These decomposers are responsible for how it is that the leaves and branches of a forest floor don't pile up to greater heights year after year. Instead, the organic matter is broken down and ends up back in the soil to the benefit of future generations of producers and consumers. The circle of life. To life.